Hey everyone, today we're here to talk about smart TVs. There's more to this technology than internet connectivity. It's all about the features and interfaces that make using the TV fun and easy. To find out more, I went to CES to see what smart TVs are all about. First and foremost, a smart TV should be easy to set up. Roughly 52% of the customers who buy smart TVs get frustrated in the setup system and never connect it to the internet. If the interface is cumbersome or confusing, most people won't take advantage of the features. A good interface is intuitive, customizable, and fast. Home button, launcher, select the one you want, off you go. You're not selecting inputs anymore, you're not turning things on, it's all automatic for you. Another cool feature available on a lot of smart TVs is the ability to quickly switch entertainment options. So when you're actually watching TV and you're successfully connected up to the internet, right, there's a lot that you want to do. Do you want to maybe net access Netflix, you want to watch live TV, maybe you want to watch Blu-ray. With our simple switching, all you have to do is hit the home button. Essentially, this is how we're used to using computers and smartphones, with multiple programs readily available on one screen with the ability to quickly switch between them. We've turned anything that you want to do with your TV into an app. More and more, TV isn't just for watching TV. Smart TVs connect families to apps and games that download directly onto the TV. Of course, there's also a wide range of sources for great shows and movies. Now get access to all this content. However many channels your cable's giving you, whatever Netflix is giving you, all of those other providers, how do you find what's on? We're going to make that easy for you as well with our simple discovery. A smart TV brings everything together. It's really a multimedia entertainment system. The remote is a crucial part of the TV experience, and you want a smart TV remote that does it all. You can find ones that point, click, scroll, and even receive voice commands. When you get your TV, the first thing to do is connect the remote to the TV, and there's some pretty creative ways for doing this. The first thing the TV asks you to do is pick up the remote control, wave it a couple of times, and on screen is a sleeping bird, bean bird. And then you're instructed on the screen to poke bean bird. So you poke him a couple of times, he wakes up. That simple game, paired up your remote control. If you decide to go the smart TV route, first make sure you find one that's easy to use. Once you're set up, there's a world of awesome media content right at your fingertips. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks to Bob for his insight, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.